Simmons Roberts, that's Roberts, R-O-B-E-R-T-S. I'm a professor at Brown University, an expert on uh, environmental justice. Uh, I've published 14 books and uh, about over 70 articles in peer-reviewed journals, including some of the most cited review articles on environmental justice. This is a clear case of environmental justice. And I hope that what I say here does not count anymore because of those articles or because of the suit I'm wearing or the color of my skin. That is, uh, the people who have spoken here today have spoken accurately and from their hearts and from their knowledge of the world that we live in. What I'd like to say is that the fact that you can't pollute in pristine waters in the state of Rhode Island makes it so that it's uh, compounding an injustice, which is an injustice as defined by our federal laws and our state laws. So in 1994, there was executive order uh, that was issued by uh, William Clinton, Bill Clinton, our president, and in DEM's uh, SOP number BEFAWC-1 of uh, 62609 is the statement on environmental justice. And it says, unfortunately I'm reading on my phone because my laptop was not allowed in here tonight. I hope I can find it. In the policy statement, environmental justice is the fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people regardless of race, color, national origin, English language proficiency, or income with respect to development, implementation, and enforcement of environmental laws, regulations, and policy. Um, and then, here we go, if it will be achieved when everyone enjoys a fair share of environmental benefits and the same degree of protection from environmental and health hazards, as well as equal access to the decision-making process to help ensure a healthy environment in which to live, learn, and work. So you have in, your, in the guidance from our state clear directive to act on this case and reject this permit. Thank you.